as far as the overarching historical uh, narrative, the major events are accurate. The major events, like you know, for example, the Kai tribe coming to Anatolia, yeah. um, Arturo being who he is, the fact that he married Halima Sultan, and then I'm spoil <laughs> major major spoiler alert. All right, the <laughs> fact that he he died and was buried next to her in Saud. Yeah. Uh, right. That did not happen in the series. <laughs> okay. And that that uh, like destroyed everybody's like taste. Oh because, no way. Okay. Yeah. So you didn't know that, and now. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> so I have to give myself a spoiler. <laughs> All right. So, so, <laughs> I'm sorry. No, that's fine. But the point being is, uh, uh, the, like the overarching themes uh, yeah. were pretty much accurate, with a few exceptions. With a few exceptions. One of them is, for example, and this is the romanticization aspect of it. There was no discussion of the Abbasid Khali- Khilafa. Mm-hmm. Absolutely none. And the reality is the, Sulj- the Seljuk Empire was actually uh, in support of the Abbasids. They were considered a sultanate under the Abbasids. And during mm-hmm. the Abbasids, there were, there were seven different empires that existed during the time of the Abbasids. The Seljuk were one of them, mm-hmm. right? And the Mamluk were on the other, se- the, uh, the other side of the uh, Arabian Peninsula. And then you had the uh, Ayyubids as well. And then you had the North Africans. There was four, Af- four there. And then you had the Umayyads in, the, in Andalus. Mm. So the Muslim Empire was not your ideal Khilafah like you saw in the Khilafah al-Rashidin. And that teaches us lessons from it. Is mm. that, look, there were differences among Muslims. But then they, a lot of them were, uh, were localized kingdoms or sult- sultanates, domains, that um, did not negate the Khilafah. Mm. And that is why Imam al-Suyuti, the funny thing is, when he talks about the Umayyads in Andalus, he's like, and we're not even going to talk about them. He has a book called Tariq al-Khulafa, mm. uh, the history of the, of the caliphates. He said, we're not even going to talk about them because they were a caliphate that, did not, that negated the, the real caliphate of the Abbasids. Okay. So the idea of the caliphate was very strong even among mm. the sultanates. Uh, and Arturo did not talk about them at all. And also they made the caliphate of the Ayyubids seem like just some, you know, some, you know the Al-Aziz, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was a real guy. And they made him look like he's, you know, some kid who doesn't know what he's doing. <laughs> In reality, that was not the case. The guy was a strong man. He was the grandson of Salah al-Din Ayyubi. And okay. um, they also brought in actually a very famous scholar named Baha din who was the judge, if you remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they made him look like he takes uh, bribes. Yeah, yeah, That's really horrible, man. Because okay. that man was one of the most righteous scholars of, really? of, of Aleppo <laughs> at that time. Wow. So, so these kind of inaccuracies, you know, mm. it, it might play a big role. Thinking that, oh, Muslims were just taking bribes and... No, 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 no. Mm. The Ayyubids were very strong at a certain point. And um, that's why the Seljuks uh, mm. intermarried with them. So, yeah. Ala ad-Din actually married the uh, sister of Al-Aziz in, in, the, uh, in the series. But in reality, it was his niece. So that's okay. also a small inaccuracy in there. Mm-hmm. Um, and overall, the idea is the series is amazing in, in, in one or two main ways. If that was the only reason, then Hamda would be good enough. Number one, it actually shows you, um, you know, how human beings were imperfect. Mm. Um, and also the ideals that they lived up to, the identity that, like, they kind of, that they drew from in their day-to-day lives. And that's mm. why when you saw the Sira lessons, they were so powerful. Like, remember mm. when the Kai tribe was being kicked out and, yeah, like, yeah. they don't have anything. And what do they do? They give the story of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam being exiled from Mecca. Mm. And that's like, wow. You can actually see people who are going through real suffering, yeah. but they draw lessons from the life of a Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Um, this is what you said, basically, making it relevant. A hundred percent. Initially, yeah. And it's so beautiful because it's not only just relevancy. There's a difference between like you go on site and it's, you see it in front yeah, of you yeah. and then you see an entire series. And that's mm. why I really recommend, even maybe Yom Fit, inshallah, we can work on it someday, <laughs> is that I, honestly, what I want to do, one of the things I'm working towards is uh, like f- massively fund uh, more series to be made. Mm. So what you do is you, you provide specialists to just work on this. Uh, on this. You get ghostwriters to write the script. Uh, the historical accuracies are just filmed. And yeah. then um, uh, are uh, checked, and then you make more series. That's mm-hmm. how people learn. So I would love for people to learn history in that way, um, inshallah.